Remove the two thumb screws that hold down the air box cover. Remove the air box cover. Remove the air filter. Remove the two nuts and one bolt from the air filter holder. Remove the fuel spray shield. Remove the air filter holder. Remove the Phillips screw and two bolts that hold down the decorative cover. Remove the throttle lever cover. Remove the decorative cover while disconnecting the two stop switch wires from the stop switch. Remove the four bolts that secure the starter shroud to the engine block. Remove the flywheel nut using a 22 mm impact socket and air impact. Remove the starter cup. Remove the two bolts from the cooling fan retainer. Then remove the retainer and cooling fan. Thread a 14 by 1.5 mm thread protector on the crankshaft, leaving about a 1 8 inch gap between the flywheel and the protector. Place a large flat tip screwdriver behind the flywheel. While prying out on the flywheel, hit the thread protector with a brass hammer until the flywheel loosens. Remove the thread protector and flywheel. Remove the flywheel key. Remove the two armature bolts using a 5.5 mm socket. Disconnect the spark plug wire from the spark plug and the stop wire from the armature. Then remove the armature assembly. Place the red DBOM probe in the port marked holes. And the black probe in the port marked con. Set the DVOM to the ohm scale and test the primary windings of the armature by putting one probe on the stop switch connector and the other probe on the armature metal. A reading of around 1 ohm is normal. Test the secondary winding by putting one probe in the spark plug wire and the other on the armature metal. A reading of around 5k ohms is normal. The stop switch is tested by putting both probes on the stop switch ends. With the switch in the run position, your meter should read OL, or open circuit. With the switch in the off position, you should have a reading of around 0 ohms. Make sure the oil and stop switch wires are routed correctly. If they are not, the flywheel will hit them and the engine will stop. Install the flywheel key on the crankshaft. Align the flywheel key and keyway and slide the flywheel onto the crankshaft. Install the cooling fan with the protrusion on the fan aligned with the notch on the flywheel. Install the cooling fan retainer and bolts. Torque the bolts to 140 inch pounds.
Install the starter cup and flywheel nut. Place the holding tool over the cooling fan retainer and let the handle rest on the bench while torquing the flywheel to 60 foot-pounds. Install the armature with the words this side out facing towards you. Connect the stop switch wire to the armature. Slide the armature all the way up and lightly tighten the bolts down. Be careful as to not break the bolts. Rotate the engine until the flywheel magnet sits directly below the armature. Place the proper gauge between the armature and the magnet. Loosen the mounting bolts and the magnet will pull down the armature. Torque both screws to 25 inch-pounds. Do not over torque them. Rotate the flywheel to remove the gauge. To avoid interference with the throttle linkages, route the spark plug wire in its correct place, then connect the plug wire to the spark plug. Install the starter shroud, making sure this plug wire fits inside the cutout on the shroud. Install the lower left mounting bolt and bracket. The bracket has a protrusion on the back that must fit into a slot on the engine block. Torque the bolt to 84 inch-pounds. Install the upper right bolt with the oil guard module and stop switch ground wire under the bolt. Torque the bolt to 84 inch-pounds. Install the remaining starter shroud bolts and torque each one to 84 inch pounds. Place the decorative guard in place and install the two stop switch wires on the stop switch. Install the throttle lever cover. Install the one Phillips screw and two bolts that hold down the cover. Torque the bolts to 84 inch pounds. Make sure the carburetor gasket is in place on the end of the carburetor. Install the air filter holder, the metal plate, and the two nuts over the two studs. Install the bottom bolt. Torque the bolt and bolt nuts to 84 inch pounds. To the world. Install the air filter into the cover. 
align the hinges with the slots and install the cover. Install the two thumb screws on the cover. Look, no extra parts. You shouldn't have any either.